We all know that during the Civil War, photographers like Matthew Brady braved the dangers of combat to capture real events as they happened. Before the media started tampering with the truth, photographers delivered the raw, unedited reality of warfare, right? That idea needs to be shot down. From the earliest days, photos from the front weren't always what they seemed. When the first pictures of bodies were taken in the Civil War, they had a sensational impact, and photographers capitalized on a good thing. Photographers were willing to enhance that effect in the Civil War by moving bodies into more dramatic positions to create a more vivid impression than simply taking what they found on the site. This famous photo was taken at Gettysburg in 1863. It's called the home of a rebel sharpshooter, and it features a Confederate soldier's corpse in a rocky niche on the battlefield. It looks like the realistic and gruesome aftermath of a firefight, but in reality, it's as posed as your favorite selfie. We know this because a century later, scholars noticed another photo entitled A Sharpshooter's Last Sleep, and it shows the same dead soldier, but in a different location. The photographer, Alexander Gardner, had moved the body some 40 yards to a more dramatic backdrop. Gardner and his associates, you know, pick, propped it up, turned the face towards the camera, made it look like he had just been killed while he was about to shoot his rifle. The soldier is called a sharpshooter, but the weapon in the photo is not a sharpshooter's rifle. But that didn't matter to them. Back then, taking a picture required lots of time, effort, and expense. Every image had to count. So in the 1800s, basically, if they couldn't capture something the way that it happened, they would just recreate it or stage it. Their thought was a photograph is like a painting. And in a painting, you move things for the best effect. 